In the first half of 2022, advanced persistent threat actors had busy days. Existing campaigns, as well as new ones conducted by known and emerging actors, made significant changes to the APT threat landscape. APT actors mostly targeted businesses and government entities, updating their existing malicious tool sets and diversified techniques to elevate these attacks. In this video, Kaspersky experts from the Global Research and Analysis team, David M., Nushin Shabab, and Pierre Dolcher, discuss how APTs have changed in the first half of 2022, and most importantly, how to defend against them. How have geopolitical crises affected APT development? Geopolitics continues to be one of the main drivers of APT development, and never more so than during a period of open warfare, as illustrated by the numerous cyber attacks related to the conflict in Ukraine. These include a spike in the development of new infrastructure by sandworm Psychops Blink, which attacks routers and embedded network devices, as well as Gamma Redden and Ghostwriter operations. We also saw the deployment of a succession of destructive wipers, including Whispergate, Hermetic Wiper, Hermetic Ransom, which we call Elections Go Ransom, Isaac Wiper, Cosmos Wiper, and Double Zero. On top of this, there has been a continuous number of DDoS and other attacks, as well as alleged data breaches of some major Russian companies, conducted by nationalist-driven hacktivists or cybercriminals turned hacktivists. Things have been further complicated by disinformation operations, ranging from simple to complex. Some have been regional and targeted, such as a fake video featuring an attack on a Russian citizen in Germany and a deep fake video of Ukraine's president. The landscape is highly complex and generally operations overlap each other, sometimes making attribution more complicated. One example was a cyber incident at Viasat. This incident affected several thousand wind turbines used in energy production in Germany. Unrelated leaks by groups such as Lapsus on businesses like Nvidia, Microsoft, AMD and Samsung increased the overall complexity and threat level. This is because attackers can abuse information obtained through such leaks against individuals and businesses globally. Of course, APT campaigns motivated by geopolitics have not been confined to the conflict in Ukraine. So far this year, we've seen attacks on organizations around the world by various APT threat actors. These include Kim Suki, Transparent Tribe, Silent Martin, Connie, and APT10. Last year, Kaspersky researchers predicted the further development of low-level implants in 2022. Did this prediction come true? Boot kits are low-level, stealth and highly privileged implants that run even before operating system of a computer. They are highly attractive to attackers because they can resist to complete system reinstall and are extremely difficult to detect. They are not common piece of malware because any malfunction in such implants can cause important visible system failures and because their development requires very advanced capabilities from attackers. In 2021, we nonetheless noticed that the offensive research for such bootkit was going on. Either the stealth gains outweighed the risks, or low-level development had become more accessible. As a result, we predicted we would discover more of such advanced implants in 2022. And we were right. First, we discovered Moonbounce, a sophisticated attack which starts with the modification of the UEFI. In modern computers, the UEFI is a firmware which is executed before the operating system to initialize hardware components and offer an interface to access them. It is similar, yet way more capable than what we previously knew as a BIOS. Such low-level modifications allow attackers to inject a malware within Windows. We could attribute the Moonbounce attack to APT41. More recently, we discovered Cosmic Strength, it is an highly advanced UEFI bootkit which only targets some computer motherboards. It will ultimately inject a rootkit in Windows, offering attackers a complete and stealth access to victims' computers. Cosmic Strand seems highly focused because it only targeted individuals. We believe it has been developed by a previously unknown Chinese-speaking threat actor starting at least in 2017. We continue to research such very advanced pieces of malwares, which are fortunately well spotted by the firmware and rootkit detection engines within Kaspersky products. 
In the first half of the year, Kaspersky researchers also observed the intensified activity of APT actors around cryptocurrency. Why is this area so attractive to cybercriminals and what high-profile attacks have taken place? We have seen major attacks around cryptocurrency this year. The first example was the Lazarus Group. For the Lazarus Group, financial gain is one of the prime motivations. They have a particular emphasis on the cryptocurrency business too. As the price of cryptocurrency and the popularity of NFT and DeFi businesses continue to grow, the group's targeting of the financial industry keeps evolving. In the beginning of the year, we discovered a Trojanized DeFi application, which was compiled in November 2021. This application contains a legitimate program called DeFi Wallet that saves and manages a cryptocurrency wallet, but also implants a malicious file when executed. This malicious file is a full-featured backdoor containing sufficient capabilities to control the compromise within. After looking into the functionalities of this backdoor, we discovered numerous overlaps with other tools used by the Lazarus group. Another example was the naive copy campaign we discovered in the second quarter of this year. A highly active campaign targeting stock and cryptocurrency investors in South Korea. The infection chains involve remote template injection and loading malicious macros to start a multi-stage procedure using Dropbox. After beginning the victim system information, the malware finally attempts to fetch the final stage payload that is used to exfiltrate sensitive information from the victim system. By analyzing the final stage, we found additional samples that had been used a year ago in another campaign that was against entities in Mexico and the UK. Although we do not see any precise connections to any known threat actors, we believe that the attackers are familiar with the Korean language. They have also utilized a similar tactic previously used by the Kony Group to steal the credentials of a renowned Korean port. What other interesting findings came out of the first half of 2022? We made a lot of interesting findings in 2022 already, ranging from DNS hijacking attacks to malicious activities from newly discovered or already well-known mercenaries organizations, passing by rootkits, satellite modems attacks, and new pieces of the Equation Group toolset. One that stood out for me is the multiple IIS backdoors we discovered since late 2021. IS backdoors are malicious implants that are designed as modules for a widely deployed Microsoft web server called IIS. IIS backdoors can read all communication between internet users and the web server. Attackers leverage that to hide comments or data in seemingly legitimate communications. Being deployed on servers, IIS backdoors benefit from privileged access in a targeted network. They can, for instance, read emails from their central storage access other servers within a corporate network, or download and deploy further malicious implants. IIS backdoors enable threat actors to maintain persistent, update-resistant, and fairly stealthy access to the targeted organization. In late 2021, we noticed a trend among several threat actors for deploying such backdoors after exploiting one of the proxy logon type vulnerabilities within Microsoft Exchange servers. Microsoft Exchange needs an IS server to run, and IS servers are always a convenient target in that case. Because of the trend we noticed, we hunted for such modules, and we discovered no less than six of them in 2022. They are mostly leveraged in espionage operations. One of the last we discovered is called Session Manager. The backdoor has been found on tens of servers all around the world, and among the compromised organization, 20 were still running a compromised server in June 2022. We documented this threat on SecureList to enable any organization detecting and defending against it. What should companies do to avoid falling victim to targeted attacks today? We advise companies to remain vigilant and take all precautionary measures against disruptive malware and targeted attacks. Provide your SOC team with access to the latest threat intelligence. The Kaspersky Threat Intelligence Portal provides a single point of access for our own threat intelligence, providing cyber attack data and insights gathered by Kaspersky over the past 20 years. Broaden the skills of your cybersecurity team to enable them to tackle the latest targeted threats with online training developed by experts from the Kaspersky Global Research and Analysis Team. 
implement a comprehensive EDR solution, such as Kaspersky EDR Expert, for automatic detection, investigation, and timely remediation of incidents. Deploy a corporate grade security solution that detects advanced threats on the network at an early stage, such as the Kaspersky Anti-Targeted Attack Platform. Since many targeted attacks start with phishing or other social engineering techniques, educate staff about the dangers using tools such as the Kaspersky Automated Security Awareness Platform. APTs are not hit and run attacks. Trends show that today's attacks are highly likely to continue, so organizations need to remain alert at all times. To learn more about the other interesting findings from the first half of 2022, check out the full APT Trends report on SecureList. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our latest cybersecurity discoveries.